about six, six and a half foot, 45 ton hydraulic brake. It's got the PGB 602 control, which is two axis control. You can control the depth of the ram or angle. And I'm going to bend on my parts and I can also control my flange length with my X axis or my back gauge. And I can control it here. There's 100 programs in here. I can have 100 different parts, 20 different bends or black back gauge flanges in each part. So 100 parts, 20 moves per part. You can also manually adjust the depth here with the hand wheel. I'm not going to scale on it. Some people like that. Just depend on. This is my upper limit. It's how open the machine's going to come. This is my back gauge retract. You just heard the back gauge retract. You can set this where you need it if you need a retract. If you got a flange, it's going to hit your back gauge. This is the machine's going to rapid until it hits this micro switch and when it goes into pressure. It's a safety. So you'd set this at your pinch point to click that switch. We've got a gooseneck punch standard on it and then this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different openings and then we've got a, a slot here to add additional tooling like urethanes or flattening or all the standard tooling. I can put another die block on there and run some standard V-dies like a double offset, stuff like that. This chain, we you know, we bring the ram down, loosen the blocks. We'll film that in a minute, changing the dies. We've also got uh, pressure. I can adjust how much pressure the machine develops. Just simple on and off. I can also adjust my ram here. We've got auto and manual. Auto, it's going to go to a reach a certain pressure when it reaches its depth and then a return. Manual, it's just going to go down until I, until I tell it to come back up. I don't want to leave it on auto because I'm going to run a couple parts here in a minute. I've got pressure. Simple electrics, it's, uh, Siemens, Telemechanique, Moeller, stuff you can get off the shelf anywhere. There's two VDFs, Mitsubishi VDFs. X axis back gauge, it's heavy duty, two ball screws. I've got two fingers, I've got height adjustment here. If I unlock it, I can move the fingers where I need them. Yeah, I'm going to bend the same part again.
get right over top of that so you can see it better. Oh, okay. It's a pretty long video. Okay. Yeah, this is equipped with a quick change die system on a lower V block. We do you loosen your centering clamps. We've got a one, two, three, four, five, six different bead eye opening bottom block. And then this block here is used for, you know, a lot of people use it for flattening or special V dies, double offsets, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Or you can just take this off and go right to the deck with a die block and put special tooling on it. Well, let's say I need to get to this V die opening. I don't want to pull it out, I want to use the machine to do it. Raise your ammo. Pick up my die and rotate to the round. I yeah, just heard the back page. Should have moved it out of the way. Set it back down. Take off my chains. Center it with my blocks. Center it off my punch tip and I'm ready to go. The program has a second part. It's just a basic kind of a basic channel. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to auto, program two, this size. That gives you come to position first program. I'm just going to bend, I'll bend two of them. Again, I mean, this could be six feet long in this particular machine. Two different parts. You can pull these up at any time and bend them. The only variable is going to be the material thickness, which we can adjust the control on the fly, depending on the accuracy of parts you need. But for most people, it's we did a radius on the wall. Yeah, we just bumped the radius. We didn't have enough material. We were just playing, but uh, we had to find some more material. But our capabilities.